S23 has been on the market for a few months now, and it's been a fantastic option in the space of a 6.1 inch flagship grade smartphone. But the Google Pixel 7a has stepped onto the scene, offering you an even cheaper alternative to something like an S23, or even if you want this over, you know, some more premium phones, you now have a Pixel option that looks the part, but also gives you a really fast CPU inside. Let's see how that translates to their actual performance. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is housed in here, and then we have the Tensor G2 in there. So let's go ahead and boot these up at the same time in three, two, go. Now the Samsung Galaxy S23 does also give you eight gigabytes of RAM, as does the Google Pixel 7a. So they are using the same exact RAM as well. So keep that in mind. Both these phones rocking that similar. Now the Google Pixel 7a turns on faster than the Galaxy S23. I'm not surprised. Reason why is the S23 runs the One UI on top of Android and it doesn't boot up the fastest. And the Pixel 7a, just pure Android. The Pixel just boot up so darn quick. It's pretty amazing. All right guys, so let's take a look at the biometric unlocking here on both of them. Both of them have fingerprint sensors and they're both in very good locations. Very easy to go ahead and reach. So let's see which one is faster here. And that looked like the Samsung. We'll do it again. And you probably, well that time the Pixel, they're about the same actually. So you're gonna get about the same. The uh, animation looked a little faster on the um, the left, but overall pretty close. Samsung definitely has a quicker animation look there. Now, I think you could actually unlock both of these without even hitting the buttons, but I was hitting the button just to make sure them screens are on, didn't really have to, but yeah, both of them very flawless in speed right there. Now taking a look at the general user interfaces, this is running the One UI 5.1, which has been really excellent in performance with the Qualcomm Snapdragon A Gen 2 for Galaxy. I've been very happy with my overall results of how this phone does perform. You know, it just gives me a much more smooth feel than I've seen on some prior Samsung phones. And I think if you wanted to try a Samsung flagship phone, this is one of the best years ever to do it, especially if you go with the S model line. They're just incredibly powerful and fast. Now the Google Pixel 7a, you just kind of expect that. Keep in mind though, by default, the Pixel 7a doesn't come with a, you know, 120 Hertz. It comes with a 90 Hertz, but it's not on by default. So it will look a little bit choppier unless you go into display, scroll down to smooth display, enable that. So it's not on by default when you do get your Pixel 7a. Once turning it on though, it's about as smooth feeling as the Galaxy S23. However, thing is, is that it's still 90 Hertz. So I'm gonna have to give the overall feel to the S23 when it comes to just that smooth 120 Hertz. But I think the software itself can be a little bit more consistent on the Google Pixel 7a. All right, so everything is closed out for both phones. You could see right there. Let's go ahead and go into calendar. And you could see that was about even actually. Let's go into calculator. There might've been a Samsung clock. That was a Samsung. We'll go into Play Store. And that is the Google Pixel 7a. We'll go to games. Now on the Samsung. So far, getting about that same performance. Go into Instagram. See Instagram first there on the left. And we'll go into Twitter. Pretty much on the left. We'll go into Groupon. Groupon first there on the left. Categories. Retail. About the same. This is pretty great performance for the Pixel 7a. We already expect the Galaxy to be excellent. It is a flagship you know, device but the Pixel 7a giving you flagship performance at a non-flagship price of about $200 cheaper than the Galaxy. But the Galaxy does get discounts, so the Galaxy could be around the same price. And honestly, both of these do have 1080p displays. They both do have great cameras. However, the Galaxy has got the triple camera. This has the dual camera, but I'm gonna tell you right now, some people are still gonna prefer the results to come for the Pixel, but the Galaxy looking a little snappier here. Another thing I really like about the Galaxy over this Pixel 7a is its bezels are much thinner. That's just a much nicer look, I feel like, and it's a much more easy to hold phone uh, just because the shape of it, just kind of like the size, it's just definitely less, less, of a, less of a size to hold in your hand. Not that the Pixel is huge, the Pixel's pretty easy to manage as well, 
but I find the S23 ergonomically a little bit better. We'll go into Asphalt 9 now. And keep in mind that either phone you go with here, you're gonna get a really good performance and you're not really gonna have to worry about pretty much anything. Um, but the Galaxy phone has the probably the more higher end specs that will give you just a little bit better sustained performance. Um, but the Pixel, we're gonna have very long updates as well. So a very good option either where you go. So the Galaxy actually got into Call of Duty faster. Now I did do a jump cut because it was showing my email accounts and want to show that, but the Galaxy did load this faster. Um, but once in the game, both of them can run the games just fine. We'll go into Subway Surf and we'll see which one is faster here. Looks like the Galaxy in the lead. So yeah, once you start getting into these games, looks like the Galaxy is showing why it's the more powerful performer. Not that it's a bad thing that the Pixel is slightly less performance because, again, it is a couple hundred dollars less. But I think it's starting to show now the Galaxy is the better option in terms of pure performance. However, keep in mind that, you know, you could actually cop the Galaxy for probably cheaper if you trade in a phone. Um, same with the Pixel, though. You can trade in a phone on the Pixel 7a and get it for nearly nothing depending on what you're trading it for. Also, there's deals where you can get this phone for free. So that, that's on certain carriers. But overall, both of them are fantastic performers, and I'm very happy to report that both of them are going to be very, you know, acceptable. However, I will give this win in this speed test to the Galaxy S23. Now, when it comes to the actual performance of reloading the applications, I expect the Galaxy to do better here. Um, the Pixel has been really letting me down in some of the past few comparisons that I have made. Go to eBay here, Best Buy. That looked like a reload, actually. That was actually reloading. 8 gigs of RAM here. That had that held. That was held. Twitter was held. Instagram was held. Clock was held. I still think it looks a little choppy here, <laughs> you know, on certain reopening so samsung still needs to work on that man pixel so far so good and we'll go into call of duty asphalt 9 whoa what was that did you see like the whole yeah here we go with the landscape thing if i go into landscape let's go over here ebay held best buy held amazon starting to reload reloading on groupon Twitter. This is actually doing better than my past video. Instagram. Clock. Honestly, I don't think this was too much different from the S23. Uh, the S23 wasn't looking amazingly butter either. Both of them did very well in holding the applications. A few reloads here, a few re reloads here. This is pretty close here, honestly, in the reload department. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at how fast they can open up these camera shutters so we could take a shot. Luckily, that's a plastic phone, <laughs> even though it dropped on the table. Three, two, go. And you can see we were on the wrong camera there. Let me do that again since we were facing me. Let's go ahead and do this. Three, two, go. It's like the Galaxy a little faster. Let's do this again. Three, two, go. Yep, Samsung faster hitting that. We zoom in. Pretty good. So, yeah. In terms of the camera speeds, I would say the Samsung a little bit faster. Now, both of them do have the ability to go ahead and double click, but it should be about the same speed. See that? Like it should be about the same speed as when you just tap the camera app. So yeah, Samsung a little faster to open up the camera. All right, guys, so here are our final Geekbench six scores and you could see 1879 single core and 4620 on the multi-core score. Now for the single core for the Pixel is a 1314 and a 2630 on the multi-core score there. So not so much in the main single core, but definitely better performance in the multi-core score for the Galaxy S23. Let's go ahead now and take a look at the 3D Mark. We're gonna do the wildlife extreme test here and I'll be back when they are done with their final results. And our final scores are in here for the Wildlife Extreme with a monster score on the Galaxy S23 3639 versus 1593 here with average frame rates hovering around 22 FPS, only around 10 for the Pixel 7a. Now if we scroll down, you're gonna find scores on all devices over 40% higher 
for the Galaxy. So I think it's safe to say the Galaxy is definitely the more powerful phone for graphically and CPU wise. So it is the more premium device. You are paying a little bit more. And while Google is still using the G2, which is their premium processor, they haven't upgraded it. It's from last year. So definitely it's nice that we have it here on the Pixel 7a. It makes it a really good steal of a value. Um, but it's definitely not going to take down the S23. So I'd say if you like Samsung, you can find that on a deal. This is probably the better pick. But if you enjoy the Pixel experience, you have a great value on your hands here. So which one would you pick? The Galaxy S23 or the Google Pixel 7a? Let me know down below in the comments. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Nick here. Be sure to be well and peace.